So I'm going to say this. And then I'm going to stop talking about it because I'm tired. I have other things I need to do. I need to pray. I have a family. Um, and I just need to think about my own stuff right now. Just like everyone else is. I said that if somebody attacks you, go to the hospital and let them examine you so they can get evidence. Now, if you examine by a physician, he can tell if you had forcible sex or consensual sex, that's number one. He can gather evidence because there are going to be pubic hairs, there are going to be uh, liquids, I mean, seminal fluids, all of this contain DNA evidence. Hair has DNA. Seminal fluids has DNA. Semen has DNA. There will be all these things after the station window course, and he can tell if it's forced or not. So don't go in the hospital and have consensual sex and then say somebody forced you. Now, if you feel violated, Definitely go to the hospital, whether it's consensual or was it. Now, now, if you're under 16, a 16-year-old in this country cannot consent to sex. Go to the hospital. Even if the, your body responded, if your body responded positively, go to the hospital. In this country, a 16-year-old and under cannot consent to sex. If they ask, don't have sex with them. They cannot consent. Now, in America, in America, in America. Now, I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I just said that I'm tired of hearing that mess. I'm tired of hearing that garbage about how he violated them. He did this. He did that. Somebody fucking with you, you're going to go and fuck him up with all your friends. And your husband is going to fuck him up with all your friends. I don't understand why they keep going on and on and on and on and on and on with not enough evidence. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. But I guess I just need to stop watching the news. I need to stay off the internet. You lost, honey. This man's reputation and life is impeccable. His comedy does not contain one end bomb. One our language word and he refused to do comedy that does this man has given gifts to educational institutions he has did works with children unbelievably good things for the children he have for college students he has just impeccable reputation his character flaws have not been revealed his secret have not been revealed He, he is sinister in keeping his secret. You better have some evidence. You better have some evidence if you are saying that you are attacked by somebody with a character like that. You could not prove your case. You could not prove your case, honey. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You don't sit up there crying since somebody raped you. You just can't do it. I'm sorry. You know, I, my heart really go out to you. Did somebody hurt you? You know, but but you couldn't prove your case. And I don't want to be listening to all damn day about how these bitches say somebody raped him and they hurt him and he should have paid for it. <laughs> Bust that motherfucker in his head. Shit. <laughs> and he won't fuck with nobody else. That's all I got to say. I bet you beat that bitch to death. He won't fuck with nobody, he won't fuck with nobody else. And you have to be worried about it. I don't want to hear that shit all day about how you hurt. Because he didn't pay for his crime. Honey, you ain't prove your case. I'm sorry. And I won't hear that shit about how he got away with it. Now, like I said, if you ever feel like you've been violated, you need to hurry and quickly go to the physician and examine it and get examined as quickly as possible. So you can have some evidence against the person that hurt you. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. So, with that being said, that being said, I don't have to stop watching the news. Because the news is like just starting all kind of stuff. And I'm sick of them. I am. I'm sick of the news reporters. 
It's all kinds of as as a woman, it's Brad Pitt, her and Brad Pitt lady. Baby, she was so sweet. She was so sweet. She's so sweet. And she's beautiful too. She's so sweet. She said, honey, we ain't dating. I don't know granddaughter. I don't know how the rumor got started. I said, bitch, I don't know why you asked me my fucking bed. Get out of my face. They will never ask me nothing again. They will never ask me nothing again. Bitch, I don't know who. I don't know who told you to get to school. Well, you better get the fuck up out of my face. You know. I need to be quiet so the people walk in here. They would never ask me nothing again. She was so sweet. She was so, so sweet and beautiful. And he is dating her. He got her a pretty, got a pretty lady. And he dating her. He got him a pretty lady. She is so sweet. But I don't cuss the motherfucker. I never ask me nothing again. I had clear the fucking red carpet of the report. But anyway. I'm going to have to quit watching the news. I really am. I'm going to have to quit watching the news. It really irritates me. But I wish everybody well. I wish everybody well. I hope they wish me well. I hope they wish me well, you know. I got a lot of stuff that I need to get busy. But anyway, I'm not saying Bill Cosby is guilty of anything. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is all my friends, I don't have no best friend. But all my friends, if I go to the people I hang with, that somebody was fucking with me, they, his ass is fucked up. That's all I got to tell you. See, Marie, she, who? See, if I go tell Marie, and all, I ain't going to say the name because y'all don't know them. They're not famous, but they they common people. They, You know y'all don't know if I say their name. See, I tell Marie somebody was fucking with me, she kill her ass. I really, and we and Marie ain't even that close. We... You know, we were friends. We love each other. But we really ain't that close, you know what I'm saying? We really ain't each other bitch. But but we love each other. If I go tell me somebody was fucking me, she'll kill her ass. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand that. See, all your friends, all my friends right now be outside the door. You see how them people's coming at the strike with them, with them sticks. She, all my friends be outside with some sticks. Ready to be his ass. I'm serious. So I don't understand that, you know. I really don't. But I guess different cultures, you know. It's a different culture. It is. It's a different culture everywhere. It's a different culture everywhere. Not a bit so When I was in Texas, it was a dream come true. Everything was fun. We had we had a good time. I had a good time going to country all day long. But I went to other places where you can't hang with everybody, and everybody ain't laughing and talking and fun. Shoot. I mean, I went to church in Atlanta, and you have to literally pray. You have to pray and rebuke them demons before you go to church. But the Bible says, forsake not the assembly of yourselves together as the manner of some is. I have to get my Bible and read it. They said the ones that don't go to church, and a symbol or not prepared for a lot. Who is this? I'm gonna have to let y'all go because it might be my money right here. 